Okay, this is part three. Yeah, part three. Okay, I don't even know why, but this is part three. Now, I've talked about sound quality. I've talked about video or movie or picture or whatever quality. And now, I'm going to talk about how to mount your camera so you don't have somebody having the camera go, you know, every time you want it to move or not to move because when somebody's holding it it is never not moving ever it is it is always moving so i'm going to teach you how to mount a camera on a tripod i know it sounds very obvious but some people may not know they may have no idea that you even should have a tripod so i'm going to switch deals on my mic so you can pick me up from a little bit longer then i'll hop right into it Okay, so this is a camera. Wow. Canon camera. It's the EOS Rebel T4 that I had earlier. Beautiful camera. Oh, mom's going to be very mad if she saw that. Okay, so this camera is awesome. But you don't just want it to have it on a flim. You just don't want it on a flimsy, you know, thing or somebody holding it if you're trying to take a really good picture. So You'll get a tripod. Now you're probably wondering, who's holding the camera that's filming me? That's the better tripod because I want it more sturdy. But this is just like it's not a fifty-dollar one. You know, it's not like a hundred million-dollar one. I mean, it's a pretty cheap one, but it still is really good because well, it's got three legs and it's way more sturdy than you are when you're holding it. So, so first things first. <clears throat> your tripod will more than likely come closed with this down You want it to open obviously. Okay, so anyway, you probably all, all know that and that there's these leg adjustments that get it way out there I know I hit my mic so um so basically When you want to mount it they come with this little thing on top that um your camera screws onto and um, I'll show you that in just a second and what that does is it screws to your camera so that there we go so that um you know you're not just setting it on top because that won't do like that that won't be any good either so, so here I'll crank this up here so maybe you can see it there we go Ta -da! okay tighten that so it's this thing that comes on top see it here looks like that this goes in the actual tripod the little thing in the middle helps you screw it on and this is this is the screw that turns so what you do here's the bottom of your camera and that little hole there has threads that this thing screws onto so basically you set this on top there's a little flappy deal and you twist it like that you just twist it on there get it all tight and everything and then what you do is um okay so here's the tripod it's the top of it and that uh, thing that I told you will slip into there so so what you do is you pull this little thing back there's a little deal here you pull it back and you slide the square on top so now you know it fit in there nice and good and stuff and then you're ready to take a picture now every tripod is a little bit different for the most part unless one of the fancier ones this one when you loosen it's the big old handle it um, makes this looser and um, the one on the side will help it not spin. So like if that's really tight, like I can't even spin it right now. So you loosen that and then you can swivel or pan, I guess is the official name for it. So this is panning. And if you're ever making a video, you don't want to go, you know, that's kind of why you have it on a tripod. 
you want to kind of move it slowly or because some people have I don't know when they watch videos and there's a lot of movement they kind of go or throw up you know so you want to do this nice and slow and for the most part instead of have all the movement on here you want all the movement with the people and then the, there's a little crank on this one you know I'll crank it down so I don't hit anything when I'm trying to show this to you and so what that does so you just saw like my camera disappear see it's right here and when I crank it the camera goes up so basically that adjusts the height of it and on some of them you just loosen a deal and you pull it up it kind of depends on the tripod and um, and then yeah so basically that's it oh and also there's this really cool feature on some of them or all of them I don't know and with this one you just you loosen there's a screw back here you loosen it up and then you can tilt it this way you kind of adjust how you want it so then you can get like your um like you know when you're standing get your standing shot and that would be this or you can tilt it sideways and get your landscape shot and um, that is really nice on the tripod that's holding the video camera right now you know there's a special button you hit because it like has little clicks that help it be um like more accurate or whatever but um there's almost always a little level here I don't know if you guys can see that a little I don't know I'll have to take the camera off here okay so that little green thing there that's a level and how levels work is there's a little bubble of air so if you want it completely flat there's two lines so if if your deal is a bar about that long there's two lines and it will be almost completely um, flat or level or whatever when that when that um when that bubble is between the two lines so if you want like your camera not to be tilted down or anything you put it in there like this make sure your bubble your bubbles are in between the two lines and then you have a perfect straight on shot if you want to tilt it obviously the level doesn't matter there is a smaller one for the tripod itself to make sure all you know your legs are completely out or whatever so that's about it and um, another thing on this camera that I didn't explain earlier there's a flash that comes with it and it's that thing right there that little white deal no okay it won't it won't automatically adjust but um up here um, that's made you can slip a flash on uh, that uses the battery that you have in this thing also the microphone I'm using I can slide it on here I'll take it off quick you can slide it on so if you're if you need a microphone you know inside your video you can slide it on and I'll show you how there you go you just slide it on like that you tighten it you tight okay so you slide it on like that you tighten it and then you have your video your um your microphone on your camera so then you know you can adjust whatever and then you have your mic to pick up the sound so well I hope this was helpful if you um, wanted to make a video and had all your cameras and your sound and stuff but your video was really shaky or whatever hope this helped and um yeah i might have a part for i don't know i haven't decided yet and um yeah so just subscribe below drop a like comment if you really want to and um just i want to hit the little bell icon so you can so you know every time i post a video so well thank you and have a good night